Oh, oh this is disgusting. Oh, we started to open up now. Shut up. <laughs> After updating you on the grisly situation with Steve's back, we take you on a whistle-stop tour of Portersham in Dorset That's and Weymouth, one of the most picturesque harbour entrances in the world. And we feel blessed to receive posts from our viewers. We are Steve and and Gus, and this beautiful Venus 46 catch is our home. Life threw us a curveball and we are currently back in the UK helping out family. In our spare time we are visiting some of the beautiful villages and towns that the UK has to offer. You're not really set up for wild camping. Why? Well my TV won't work. <laughs> in our last episode we took you along the coast to Hurst Point. We also took a visit to where Steve works at MDL Saxon Wharf. And finally we told you about the bad news of Steve and his melanoma spotted by pure coincidence when he had another mole removed. So we're on our way out again to Weymouth, the other side of Portland Bill. There's a little place called Porter's Head Farm. We're going there. And this time we've got our two granddaughters, Maisie and Jess, with us because it's their half-time holiday. Cold. Yeah, it's still cold. It's been raining on and off, so it's it's about 12 degrees today. But like with the boat, we only ever turn right. Sorry, our roads are dreadful here, so I'm going to stop because you won't better hear me. <laughs> We're driving uh, down uh, a train track at the moment. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Well, we've arrived on site. Uh, it's quite busy. It's quite a few. It's quite full, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does look quite full. Um, we'll take you for a little walk in a moment. We're going to take Gus for a little walk. Looks to be a nice little pub opposite and a little shop. I found my house, my dream house. Look at that. That is upset. And it's for sale. I want that house. Look how fast it's running here. Oh, he's only, well that mum's only 30 years old. Nanny. Can you see what it says? It says... Daddy. Look how to, oh I'd love to go up there. This is what evening looks like in the motor home. <laughs> I'm just doing dinner. There's only chicken pie today, so I can't burn. Well, no, I can burn that, but I won't burn it. I won't burn it and um, I quickly stir fry the vegetables because they're quite nice and yeah, that's what I'm chicken pie and vegetables. We're on a bus, we're going to Weymouth, aren't we? It's fast. Sorry? It's fast. <laughs> have you ever been on a bus before? I have. <laughs> I have been on a bus before but it's a bit fast this one. Because I, <laughs> yeah. I have been on a bus before but this one's a bit fast, she said. <laughs> Another grey day in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> cold. cold and grey. <laughs> Weymouth. We're not selling. <laughs> We're not selling the UK very well, are we, at the moment? Well, it is February. Yeah, but it's so wet and so dreary and so grey. Yeah. Now, this is Weymouth Beach. 
It's stunning beach, really is a stunning beach. We're shell seeking at the moment. We are like shell seekers. Oh, oh yes, a mussel shell, that is. We came here on our honeymoon 40 years ago. We did, yeah. Our second night of our honeymoon. I love my shells. Yeah, we came here 40 years ago um, on our honeymoon. And it is our wedding anniversary soon. In a month or so. So this is the entrance to Weymouth. By boat, yacht, up to there. And then we'll show you in a moment, there is a bridge up there that you have to go through to get to the marina. Obviously the bridge has just opened. <laughs> it looks a bit, what, green? Yes. Oh, deep, yes. Well, this is where you might see crabs. Our granddaughter has just mentioned that it smells and it's, I was trying to explain to her that it smells of like fish and the sea. And she said, it smells like salmon. <laughs> good. It smells really good because it smells like salmon and I love yeah. it. <laughs> so this is your typical kind of English fishing harbour here with the fishing boats. That place over there is known as the cove. That little, that little bit there. Oh, is it? I've been this morning. So Weymouth being a harbour where all the huge big ships used to come in, these were these townhouses are very old. And look at that stunning window. I don't know whether you can see how curved it is. I think we're going to go and find an arcade and give the kids some time in the arcade. Seventeen seventy-one. Okay. Funny kind of day today because we've been stuck in the motorhome all day. So the weather has been vile, absolutely vile. Let's show you another grey day, but on top of the greyness today. We've had rain, so much rain again. Look, it stopped about an hour ago. And then we're gonna go out for a walk. Take Gus out for a little walk up through the village because it's very pretty. Show Steve the house I've chosen for when we're a bit older. Steve's been moaning about the cold. <laughs> Why don't you keep making me turn the heater off? You guess you're not cold, are you? You're gonna go out for a walk in a minute? Yeah, you're gonna go out for a walk? Yeah. So did you get anything in the shop? Yeah, do you want to rub my magic cheese? <laughs> <laughs> it's not magic. Thank you. <laughs> you said you didn't like smoked cheese. Did, yeah, but smoked did you get bacon? smoked bacon? I love smoked bacon. Well, I never buy smoked bacon, so how come after all these years you've decided you like smoked bacon? Well, you don't buy it and I like it. So I'll be having that myself in the morning, perhaps with a slice of cheese on it. I'm just looking how to do the uh, bacon in the air fryer. Well, I just want to show you what this bloody idiot is up to today. As you can see it's raining. It's foiled. What are you doing? It's filthy. I'll give it a filthy. I'm going in. I'll have coffee when you're ready. I'll be in. Okay. Hey, what a crackhead. Well, not literally, but mental. Absolutely crazy. I've got a hair as well. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Not all of them? No, it's the top one. Oh, oh yeah. this is disgusting. Oh, it's starting to open up now. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I can see the bone. <laughs> see what I mean? It's healed very well, Steve. Yeah, but because they pulled it so tight, it's 
is creased and now you've got a nipple on your back. <laughs> nipple back. <laughs> nipple back. <laughs> you can never have enough nipples. You're not a medic, are you? He is. You're not a medic. Of course he is. You're not a medic. Have you done battlefield training? Oh, Mike, no. He's a desk jockey. <laughs> oh, he's got another one. Oh, Where did the other one go? no, I can't. Mike thinks he's doctor. <laughs> That was, that's the worst one. Yeah, that's kind of a bit embedded. I didn't know, I could just, I could just feel it. It's like childbirth. That's all looking good. Yeah, a bit of a nipple up here, where they've pulled the skin together. Like a that. nipple? Because it was... Nipple back. It was quite a big hole like that and they... <laughs> well, don't start sucking on it. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll never suck on it. Ever. Another miserable day. And it's even more miserable today because uh, not only is it grey, it's drizzly. And we've made a plan to pick up Steve's mum, who can't walk very well. She walks with a row later. So we're going to pick her up today, plonk her in this seat here so as we can spin her around a few times, take her off to Hearst Point, have lunch and then take her back. Well, she no. didn't get to go out very no, much. No, so she doesn't go out kind of on a leisure thing. So we just thought, well, we've got the toilet and that, so which is what she desperately needs sometimes. So um, we should be, she should be okay. That's what we're doing today. She's my mother. She's perfect. She's very good. She's very, very good and very accommodating, and she just loves being with people. Okay, come on then, up it. A baby sort of to Oh yeah, now. but yes, when we first lovely. took him to the to the marina and he literally yeah, it would kind of go, oh look at the puppy, look at the puppy. Oh, <laughs> well what's the alternative? The alternative to what? Paracetamols? Yeah. Good walk in the blow. My mum's giving me a headache. <laughs> My mum's giving me a headache. That's not very nice. I'm going to put you outside and stand you up against the van for five minutes to get you some fresh air That's in you. That's what you need. It's not what I need, but I'm going to give it to you to see whether you like it. That was a lovely day. Lovely. Just got home. <laughs> Is that a GoCo or what should we call it? A GoCo? GoPro. A GoPro, yeah, yeah, very good. Back um, home, make your own way. <laughs> yes, get it. I'll get the keys and get you, if you go in and get the... It's a sock thing. Morning, guys. <sighs> Steve's just getting ready for work and the postman's just been and we've got two parcels. Oh, turn it up the Look right way. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Makes a change. They've both got my name on. <laughs> this one... This oh, one. it's from Joni Jackson. Joni Jackson in Maxwell, Texas. Well, well thanks, Joni. Exciting. I can't get into it. It says Malta. Thanks for the videos. You're all, you're all are awesome, <laughs> Joni. Thanks, Joni. <laughs> oh, wow, they are gorgeous. I've seen these, some of these online, not all of them, but I've seen some of these online. Joni does artwork, all sorts of things. These are beautiful shells. Custom Joni would get on well with Auntie Sue. Auntie Sue does all this type of thing. Oh, they are amazing. I don't know whether they're engraved or not. Wow, Joni, I... We haven't got enough wall space for this. <laughs> Thank you, Joni. Yeah, thanks ever so much. We show them to our daughter, she loves growing flowers. Yeah, and uh, also we will put one up in the motorhome and then we'll take some and back to Cordelia when we go back. Jay walking the world. Was it a friendship flag? Have you heard about these? Yes, I've asked for these. Hey guys, I asked him to send me some. This guy's come up with... Uh, Steve, Stevie Payne, I think his name is. I might have to be corrected on that. He came up with this friendship flag and you fly it on your boat. And if you fly it on your boat, then 
basically it means that you know you you're happy for people to come over and say hello um and yeah and it's worked really really well in the med i said that i would if i could have a couple i would take we would obviously fly one and i would take a couple back to the caribbean so when we get back we've got two spare if anybody is interested awesome thank you so much anyway thanks ever so much <laughs> thanks guys for the gifts really really appreciate it i've got to get to work we are gradually accumulating the money for our dinghy and our chain. Show you in the next video what we're going to get. Anyway, I've got to take Steve to work now because I want the car. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Today is the day that Steve goes into hospital to have his melanoma looked at. So please keep your fingers crossed and pray for him. We'd like to say a huge thank you to all of our Patreon and Coffee supporters, plus all of you viewers. We truly appreciate all the support you give us. And don't forget the outtakes that are coming up now. Joni does artwork with all sorts of things. You need to say that again. <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat. We will give them out. We won't give one to Gary. <laughs> we won't give one we'll to Gary. Gary. Gary the shitter. <laughs> um, he's not getting one. <laughs> Nicole can, but Gary's not. <laughs> a nice little pub opposite and a little shop. Pub? Oh, we're we non-drinkers. Well, we'll have lemonade then. Oh, he's such a bloody boring fart. <laughs> <laughs> tie one on. We wouldn't know how to tie one on. Do you know how to tie one on? <laughs> yeah, I do. I used to be big in the drinking world. <laughs> we came here on our honeymoon 40 years ago. We did, yeah. Our second night of our honeymoon. I was worn out. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get this clear. <laughs> that was not. He was never worn out. <laughs> ever worn out. <laughs> I'd like to wish that he was worn out. I'd like to wish I was worn out, but never.